30 days of training. That is taqwa, to protect ourselves, to save ourselves from the fire of hell. And the example that I gave before, it becomes easy for us. Yuridullahu bikum al yusra has another explanation. It's easy for us, why? Because Satan is locked up. And when we are training, we are training without an opponent. We are training without an enemy. The example that I gave in the past, if you have to fight someone in boxing, you have to fight someone. If you are in a ring and you are told that this is your time of training, you have to train yourself. You have to prepare yourself for the fight, for the big day, for the big fight. When you will fight the opponent, you have to fight him. The opponent will be in front of you. And now you are placed in, the, in, in, in a boxing ring and in that you are just punching or punching back. Hmm? Hmm? You're just punching or punching bad. My brother used to say that before, I think, in my childhood. I think Bruce Lee, woods don't hit back. Something like that. The punching bag will not hit you. You don't have an opponent. Hmm? You do not have an opponent. You're punching or punching bag. And then you still don't have the stamina to stand for 12 rounds. And then you claim that I will fight my opponent. When the opponent is in front of me, when he's attacking back, when he's punching back and I will win in the fight. Is that possible? It's impossible. That's why the Prophet said, Mehroom hai wo shakhs jise Ramazan mila. Or phir bhi maghfirat na mili. Jab Ramazan mein na mili to phir kab mili. He deprived the person who was blessed with the month of Ramadan. But he did not gain forgiveness. If he did not gain forgiveness in the month of Ramadan, then when will he gain forgiveness? Meaning, it's just you and your nafs. It's just you and your nafs. Your nafs ya mara, your evil nafs. And treat that to be your stamina. You're in the ring and you're punching up, punching back, and you're constantly punching and you cannot stand there for 12 rounds. And then you have hope and you're keen and you're boasting about it. I will fight my enemy, my opponent. You have no enemy, you have no opponent and you can't stand in the ring. You're so weak. When you will fight the, the opponent, will you be successful? No. In the same way, in the month of Ramadan, Satan is locked up. We do not have an opponent. It's just me and my nafs. It's just you and your nafs. And you're still looking at haram. You're still listening to haram. You're still backbiting. You're still watching movies. You're still committing haram. And then you say, Oh no, when time comes, I will make tawbah. No, this was the best time for you to make tawbah. This was the best time of training and preparing yourself. And if you could not attain salvation in this month, then the Prophet said, You will never gain salvation. You will never be forgiven. This is the time for you to look at yourself. Allah says in the Quran, فَأَيْنَ تَزْهَوُونَ To look at your state, where am I? Who am I? What am I? What is the state of mine? Where do I stand in the eyes of Allah? Where is my heart in the court of Allah? Where is my heart? Where am I going? فَأَيْنَ تَزْهَوُونَ Where am I going as an individual? As a family? As a community? As a society? What is my goal? What is, what is my destination? What am I heading towards? Where am I going? Hellfire or Jannah? The wrath of Allah or the Rahmah of Allah? This is the time, this is why, this is the time of training. You look at your states in the month of Ramadan. This is why I say it is the month of Tazkiyah. It is the month of Muhasaba. Man saamu Ramadana iman al wahti saamu ghufir lahu ma taqadda min zambi. That's what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said. Whoever fasts in the month of Ramadan with iman and ihtisab. I will talk about this. With ihtisab. You do complete muhasabah. You look at your state. If I was to die now, where will I go? When Satan is locked up and I still cannot stop myself from committing harams. When my opponent will be in front of me, how will I win the battle? Is it possible? Is it possible? Fa'ina tazhabun. You look at yourself. You look at your state. And then when you look at your state and when you sincerely look at your state, Without arrogance, you will say to yourself, Man, you're in a serious problem. You have issues. You have major problems. I have serious issues. There's so much filth in my heart. There's so much dirt in my heart. If I die in this state, I will go to hellfire. This is what Ramadan is all about. Man saama Ramadana iman and wahtisaba. Ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambihi. With iman and with ihtisaab. With ihtisab. You have no chance if you can't attain it in the month of Ramadan. That is the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.